you know, I got up one morning and I look in the mirror and I'm not happy with what I see. Hi, I'm Leon McKenzie, former Premiership footballer and also Championship boxer. When I was uh, becoming a professional boxer, I understand what it did to my mind when I had to get on the scales every day to check my weight. It became quite obsessive. I had to make weight. I had to make sure I was on that weight because if I wasn't, I didn't fight. That was the only sort of pressure I'd felt. But I created a lot of insecurity with myself because the more weight I was losing, the more my body was changing. During this pandemic, I've, I've, I've had a lot of battles, more so the second time round, where I've spent a lot of time by myself. I suffer from depression and anxiety. So I'm very aware of those things that I suffer from. But what I've noticed is that because I've not had so much to do, it's created a lot of boredom, a lot of frustration. I know mental health is a massive factor in my life, but I believe that um, I had to take control and make sure that I'm, I'm looking after myself in the best way. The first person that you've got to look to is yourself and understand what your body needs, understand how it can potentially look for however biomechanically you're built. And you do the best you can to make your body the best it can be, not because you looked at another picture, not because you looked at another celebrity, not because you looked at me, but because you're doing what you can for yourself and what your body can do. There's going to be positivity and there's obviously negative. But what you do with the negative is unfollow. If, it, if you watch something and you see something with your own eyes and that makes you so insecure to the point of like you start doubting yourself, unfollow until you're ready and confident and know within yourself and you're happy with yourself that you can look at someone else's page Think, okay, great, great body, but do you know what? I'm happy with mine. I think you've got to be in a position to listen to each other, help each other collectively. That's how you get results when you share your thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Men have got to understand that sharing your thoughts, feelings, and emotions, which I do every day, is the best possible outcome of what you can be. 